Hi, this is John from PSD Dude, and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how to install and use our latest action for uh, LEGO Toy Bricks. It's called LEGO Toy Bricks Puzzle Photoshop Actions and you can download it from uh, Graphic River. So let's get to it. The first step you will need to do is to extract the files from the archive that you've downloaded. I will do that here have to remember where you uh, extract the files in order to later retrieve the files from the archive. As you can see the package contains a help file like always and uh, several uh, auxiliary files. One is a pattern file and uh, two action files. There are two action files because uh, one is for normal use and one is for uh, uh, 300 dpi. In this tutorial, I will show you the normal use of this action. Once we have the files extracted, we can go to Photoshop and uh, install uh, the, uh, the pattern file and the action files. To do this, we have to go into Edit, Preset Manager, choose Patterns, Load, and choose the toybricks.pat this is the pattern file and then click load also we would need to uh, install the action files and in order to do that we have to go to window actions to display the actions panel and then go to load actions and load the action file that we need I already had uh, the pattern files installed in my uh, Photoshop and uh, also you can see here that I already have the actions installed so I will not go through this step. Okay, so all the files that we need for these actions are installed. Now we can start using the action. But before that uh, we need a starting point. This action works uh, well for raster images, vector images or text. And in this case, I'm starting with uh, simple graphics. Uh, and the image that I'm using is about uh, 1700 pixels. The action will transform the graphics into a toy brick Lego puzzle. And it's really very easy to use. You just have to select step one of the action and then click play. As you can see the action transformed the graphics into a Lego toy brick puzzle. I'll make this larger so you can see the details. This looks very nice and you can use this end result uh, as is. But uh, in this tutorial I would like to show you a few tricks. Uh, for example, uh, you can see here this gradient which is nice and it might be very useful for uh, if you use uh, images with a lot of colors. But in this case, the, the end result I want to uh, simplify a bit. So in order to do this, I'm going to simply apply a quick filter. And if I go here at uh, Filter, Artistic, and choose Cutout. Yeah, let me make this uh, a bit smaller. I have a few options here. If I turn down the number of levels to the minimum, to 2, you will see that uh, this simplifies the graphics and the end result would look much crisper, which is something that I want for this uh, particular tutorial. So with just one simple step, I improve the, the end result such that it now looks uh, sharp and crisp. 
So that was step one of the action. And now for step two, which is actually adding uh, puzzle pieces to the uh, Lego toy bricks effect. Uh, I just have to select the action and click play. And now we, I will get a message saying uh, to paint the puzzle pieces and then resume play. So the action selected the brush for me, which I can increase in size. Uh, the minimum size you should use for the brush is 26 pixels so you can increase uh, the size over that but it's not advisable to go under that size I will choose a larger size, let's say 100 okay so now I will start painting over the pieces that I want to extract from the puzzle and then resume uh, the action by clicking play okay so uh, now the action extracted the a piece of the puzzle it will ask me whether I want to apply the transformation and yes I want to apply and then as you can see it extracted the uh, the piece of the puzzle that I painted over As you can see, I can uh, move around the piece that was extracted from uh, from the puzzle, and I can uh, even rotate it by going to Edit, Transform, and Rotate. And then hit Enter, and I can also do some customization on the extracted piece by double clicking on the smart object that gets created, it's called puzzle pieces. So I'm double clicking on this, okay. And I can modify a few things like for example the shadow because here we see the shadow is a bit too large. So I will dub double click on the drop, action, uh, drop shadow and uh, make it uh, a smaller distance okay and then I'll close the smart object and save it and uh, the shadow is a bit smaller so that looks good this action allows me to uh, extract uh, pieces from the puzzle several times and I can do this by simply running step 2 as many times as I want. So now I'll run it again. Again it stops and asks me to paint over the pieces that I want to extract. And I, again I will increase the size of the brush. Okay, so I will extract this part and maybe this part. And then I will resume the action. And it extracted the pieces that I selected. Alright, I hit enter and again I'll go into the smart object and adjust the drop shadow distance. Okay, close the smart object and save. Let's take a closer look at uh, the puzzle and to get a higher level look. So uh, this is what you can do with this action. I hope you decide to buy it on Graphic River. If you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us uh, on uh, psdu.com or on uh, Graphic River. Thanks and uh, bye.